spot to every prospective naval aviator. Here at Naval Air Station Pensacola, we will demonstrate these maneuvers at very low altitude in traditional wing formation so that you may see and take pride in the precise fashion in which your Navy and Marine Corps pilots are trained to fly. Now, direct your attention to the ramp before you. Observe the military manner in which the six demonstration pilots approach their aircraft and are saluted by their crew chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, flying Blue Angel number one, the commanding officer and flight leader of the Blue Angels, from Atlanta, Georgia, Captain Greg McWerner. Flying Blue Angel number two, the right wingman, from Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, Lieutenant Commander John Hills. Flying Blue Angel number three, the left wingman, and one of the Marine Corps representatives in the Delta Formation, from Hemet, California, Captain Brandon Cordell. Flying Blue Angel number four, the slot pilot, and the other Marine Corps representative in the Delta Formation, from Knoxville, Tennessee, Major Brett Stevens. Blue Angel number five, the lead solo from Coon Rapids, Minnesota, Lieutenant Commander C.J. Simonson. Flying Blue Angel number six, the opposing solo from Birmingham, Alabama, Lieutenant Commander Dave Tickle.
The Blue Angels fly the Boeing F-A-18 Hornet, a multi-mission strike fighter, versions of which have been operational throughout the fleet since 1983.
Chris Mercado, our maintenance officer from Santa Rosa, California. The Blue Angel Flight Surgeon is Lieutenant Commander Jason Smith. From St. Burr, Louisiana, our administrative officer is Lieutenant Holly Taylor. From Boulder, Nebraska, our supply officer is Lieutenant Scott Adams. From Elgin, Illinois, our public affairs officer is Lieutenant Katie Kelly. Our Boeing technical representatives are Mr. Ed Robinson from Waverly, Minnesota, Mr. Todd Lawson from Tiger, Oregon, and Mr. Martin Patterson from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Our financial management analyst is Ms. Elizabeth Sassman from KTO, Utah. Our financial account technician is Mr. Angel Ortiz from Rio Grande, Puerto Rico. The six demonstration pilots are approaching the end of the runway to begin their takeoff sequence. Very shortly, Captain McWhorter will call the four diamond pilots into the fingertip formation. In the fingertip, Blue Angel number four, the slot pilot, will be positioned outward of Blue Angel number two on the right wing. In this formation, they will initiate their takeoff roll, transition to the diamond on liftoff, and commence the diamond half squirrel cage on takeoff. As the diamond clears the flight line, our two solo pilots will begin their takeoff maneuvers. In a dynamic demonstration of the thrust produced by these General Electric engines, Lieutenant Commander Simonson will roll Blue Angel number five, 360 degrees
turn and exit the flight line in a separate direction. The very great one.
and to the right. Shortly, Captain Order and all the demonstration pilots. 
Savage will be performing a carrier approach. Approaching the runway from the right, Captain McWhorters confirming that the, air, that the aircraft are ready to land and that they have completed their checklist. Rolling out on final, they will make one last check of the crosswind, one last ladder correction, and adjust their power to maintain the optimum rate of descent for the proper touchdown point.
simultaneously deplane on a signal from Captain McWhorter. It has indeed been our pleasure performing for you here at Naval Air Station Pensacola, this one of our many flight demonstrations of the 2012 season. Thank you. 